Hi, I'm Evan Reinheimer. I'm here on Long Island, New York today, exhibiting at the West Hampton Beach Festival of the Arts, the only major art festival taking place in the entire country right now. <laughs> So today I'm in New York and I'm heading out to West Hampton Beach, which is on Long Island, to exhibit in the West Hampton Beach Festival of the Arts. This is a show I've done every year for the past, like, maybe 12 years in a row. And it's one of my favorite shows to do. It's usually one of my best shows of the year, so I'm really happy and excited to be doing it. Not only because of that, but because I haven't done a proper art festival since the first weekend in March, because since then, the coronavirus pandemic has canceled all events across the whole country. And that's a big deal because artists like myself rely on these art festivals to sell our artwork. So I'm gonna head out to the Hamptons right now to set up for the show. It's Friday, set up day for the art show. So let's get out there and set up. The art festival takes place every year on Saturday and Sunday of Labor Day weekend. Setup is really easy, artists can pull right onto the grass to their booth space. In past years, there have been just over 100 artists exhibiting in the show, but this year, to make room for people to social distance, the number of artists was cut to around 50, and booths were spaced out more. This worked out great for artists because everyone had extra room to hang artwork on their outside walls. The show was set up in a big rectangle with a one-way path leading around the show site. Due to crowd size limitations because of the pandemic, there was a single entrance and exit point to allow the staff to limit the amount of people on the show site. At times, there was a line to get into the show, but no one seemed to mind waiting and everyone cooperated and spread out to comply with the social distancing rules. Okay, so I'm walking up to the show now. The West Hampton Beach Festival of the Arts um, takes place every Labor Day weekend for, this is like the 12th year, I think it's the 12th year. Um, it's put on by Paragon Fine Art Events. And they do a really great job of organizing the show every year, but especially so this year. This is the second day of the show. Um, yesterday was great. I did even better than I did on the first day of the show last year when there was no pandemic. For a lot of artists here, it's probably their first show since March if they do a winter circuit. And for artists who don't do a winter circuit, this might even be their first and only show of the whole year. So, it, you know, it's really cool to be out here and doing this. The uh, town was really supportive of the show. A lot of the people who came to the show yesterday thanked us for being here and for bringing the show back this year. It seemed like people were really excited to get out and get to the art show again. So it's Sunday after the show, um, it was a great weekend. Today, Sunday went, uh, I did just as much business today on Sunday as I did yesterday on Saturday. So overall it was an excellent weekend. And uh, I'm just going to get the van now so that I can drive it in to load up and get out of here. I have some large pieces to deliver throughout the week this week here on Long Island and I have a few pieces I need to ship to people in other states from the show. So all in all, great show, great sales, great organization, everything went really well. 
So that's a great sign for the economy. It shows that people want art shows back. People want to come out and buy art still, even amid this pandemic that's going on. So that's really encouraging for the future of art festivals, I think. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button. And I would really appreciate it if you took the time to subscribe to my channel here if you haven't done so already. See all of my artwork on my website. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And if you have any questions or anything, ask them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you. Thanks for watching.